Hi, welcome to my first video in the Fire Things from Metal Gear Solid 5 series. In this video I'll be showing you how to do the night vision goggles effect as seen in the following clip. Okay, so to do this it's actually quite simple. Uh, it's mainly using some post-processing effects to give you that nice night vision goggle look and changing the enemy so that anything with sort of a light form lights up. In the Metal Gear Solid example, things such as collectibles and points of interest like watchtowers and that also lit up. I'll only be showing you how to do the stereotypical night vision goggles of having my enemy light up as well. Okay, so if I show you this as an example, Here's my character, and when I press 4, my night vision is turned on, and as you can see, I've got this green tint overlay, like most night vision goggles, with any characters that would be giving up heat displayed as white. In the background of this scene, I've also got this film grain, which is going on, which is creating that fuzziness sort of effect, which is also kind of that sort of older night vision technology look, which I think looks pretty great. So. To do that, we need to use a couple of things. So for the first thing, we actually need to create a material, which is I've just called emissive heat, and all it simply is, is a constant three vector of white being my base color and my emissive color. And that's just applied to the character when night vision is turned on. And as for my character, we're just using some post-processing settings and a boolean to change the values. Okay, so let's load up a new Unreal Engine and get creating. So here we are in our third person template blueprint and what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump straight into making this night vision goggle system. So the first thing we need to do, as you saw, is create the material. So I'm just gonna right click in this third person BP root folder and just create my material. I'm gonna call it heat emit and I'm gonna double click it to open it up. Let's put this tab up here. And like I showed you before, this was a very simple thing. We just want a constant three vector. So that's our RGB. In the constant, I just need to turn the brightness value up and put that into my base color and my emissive color. And then we click into the surrounding area so nothing here is selected. Go to usage and put use with skeletal mesh. Hit apply. And this just means we can change our skeletal mesh to use this material without having to use the UVs. Now normally you probably would use the UV sets such as for your soldiers and that, but as we're just applying it to this very basic character here, I'm just not going to do that. So now we've got our material set up, we can just jump straight into making the actual blueprints. So I'm going to go to my blueprints folder and my third person character. So there's two variables we need to create first off. We need to create our NVPP, which is standing for Night Vision Post Processing. So you can write all that if you want, but I'm just shortening it to NVPP. And then I'm going to put NRMPP for Normal PP. So Normal Post Processing, we're just setting so that we don't have to change any values of our Night Vision Post Processing. And instead, we can just switch between these two variables. So on the night vision post processing, now make sure you've already hit compiled, we're going to change some values. So in scene color, we're going to click scene tint color and we're going to put this red value down to zero and the same with the blue. And now we've got this very bright green. And then I'm also going to go to grain intensity and set this to one. And that will add that film grain look we had before. One more thing is the auto exposure and we want to go to exposure bias. Now if you hover your mouse over that, it tells you what the exposure ratings are. So if I want it twice as bright, which I do, I'm going to set it to one. Because night vision goggles don't actually make your vision brighter, if you see in the example and sort of usage in other video games and that. What it tends to do is it tends to make it a little bit brighter, but tends to focus on making heat sources and light sources very bright and emit so that we can actually see our way around the place. Now we've got those set, we need one more variable, and it's going to be NV used. 
So night vision used. Is it in use? I compile that and I'm going to leave it to its default value of false. We need to change the type to a boolean. Likewise with the night vision post processing in the variable type just search for post process and you'll come across our post process settings. So I'm going to use the 4 key because just like a Metal Gear Solid 5 when I press 4 it equips my night vision goggles. So on release of the 4 key I want to check if my night vision goggles are in use. So I'm going to hold B and left click and that brings out our branch. And I'm going to get my night vision used and equip it into our condition. So now I'm checking are my night vision goggles in use. If they are, we no longer want them to be in use. If they're not, then we want to start using them. So there are three things we need to do in each. We need to set our new post process settings. We need to set our NV used value to true or false, and we need to set our material. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our post process settings. So we need to add a new component and we need to add post process. Now I've noticed an issue with Unreal Engine 4.9 in which when I'm using post process components, it has caused crashes. So I'm gonna show you my way around doing this. I'm gonna drag in my post process and coming off it, I'm gonna look for my set settings. And as soon as I have that, I'm gonna delete my references and components to my post process for now. So this way I can still set up the entire blueprint and the only thing I need to do is add my post process component right before I hit compile and play. So on true, I want to get my normal post processes and I want to change it back. Now copy and paste the settings and on false I want my night vision post processing and I want that to be my settings. And our target will obviously be our post processing component. Next we want to set our material. So search for set material and we want to set our mesh material. Bring this into the middle and we're going to want to set it to our heat emit. Copy and paste this material and we're going to set the mesh target back to this target. Sorry, in the normal one, in the top one, we want our man body. In the bottom one, we want our heat emit. As you saw, I hit compile and it's just giving me the warning errors that my post processing target is not there. We can ignore that for now because like I said, that will cause issues. Last thing we want to do is we want to set our boolean. So I want to set night vision used to true and in the top, I want to set it to false. So now when I press four, I'm going to check if my night vision is in use. If it is, set my post processing back to nothing set my material back to the original and set night vision back to false. If it's false, then I'm gonna set my night vision post processing, set my material to my emissive heat, and then set my Boolean to true. So the next thing I want to do is create my AI. Now I'm gonna very simply do this by duplicating my third person character, naming this AI bot. In AI bot, I can delete all this code reference in the blueprints, and I can delete my camera and camera boom. And I'm just going to compile that. Now in the event graph, I'm going to add an event tick. And I'm also going to delete these two post processing variables because they're no longer needed. But I can keep my NV used, but I'm going to rename it to NV mat. So that's going to say, has my material been changed for the night vision? So from event tick, I'm going to cast to my third person character. And as object, I'm going to get player character. Because I want to reference the player's character. I want to check if the player is using night vision. So I'm going to do NV, get NV used, and left click with holding B to get a branch. And my NV used is going to be my condition. If NV used is true, then I want to set material mesh to heat emit. If it's false, then like my third person character, I want to check, change it back to my original material. Now you'll see why I'm using this new boolean here. If I were to do that, then every frame when it's false, I am changing the material back to normal. So what I want to do instead is get another branch and I want to get my NV mat 
And if my NV mat is true, I want to set my material. I'm just going to copy and paste this one. And I want to set it to my man body. If it's false, we need to target the mesh here. If it's false, I don't want to do anything because no material needs changing. Now this is also true with this one. So again, we need a branch. From true, using the same NV material. If NV material is true, then we've already set our material. If it's false, then we want to set our material to this heat emissive. Once we've done that, set NV map to true. Once we've changed it back to normal, set it to false. Now good programming practice always states that you want your condition to be true. You're always, whatever you're checking here, you want its value to be true. Now in this instance, we're checking this one boolean for overall, so it's going to have to be false because we don't want it to be true because if it's true, then again, we've already changed it. So now what's happening is every frame, we're checking if our player has night vision selected. If they do, then we want to check if our material's changed, if it hasn't, then we're going to change it to our heat emissive. Okay, but now on the next frame, the player has turned off their night vision, so it's false. So now we need to check, have we changed our set material back to normal? Is our material how it should be? If it is, then we don't do anything. But if it's not, if NV material for NV material change is still true, then set it back to normal and set our boolean to false. So again, you could do without this boolean, however, that would just be really inefficient for rendering purposes as you're going to keep applying this same material. Whilst doing a couple of boolean checks and if statements are going to be no overhead. So now I'm going to bring my AI bot into the world. I'm just going to place him over there, maybe have him facing us, and go back to my third person character. Now we're pretty much done. I'm just going to go through and save all these. So now we want to re-add our post process component. Because like we did before, we removed it so that it doesn't cause a crash. So I'm going to add these to my target and compile. Now play. So when I press 4, bam, our night vision has equipped. So now me and this duplicated self are emitting light because we are emitting heat. That is how we quite simply set up our night vision post-processing. This is how we create our night vision goggles and that's all there is to it really. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you look forward to what's coming rest in the series. I know I am. Remember to give us a like if you'd like this video, it helps us out a lot. Give me a dislike if you didn't like the video or if your opinions are otherwise or you have any comments, questions, suggestions or advice, just leave it in the comments down below. Even if it's just a hey I enjoyed the video, that means a heck of a lot to me. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.